So, you guys, um, I just finished watching War Horse, which is a movie I've been waiting to watch forever. I've really been waiting for it to get on Netflix, still haven't gotten there. So I was like, let me find somewhere to watch it, since I am I don't get paid till a few days, so I can get it. Now I really want to have it in for myself to watch any time I want to now when I'm feeling like I just want to watch a very good movie. Oh, it made me so sad though. I swear I cried a bunch of times. Not hardcore crying, though I was really close at the end there. Just so you know, this is going to be spoilerish. and I'm trying to make it short. Not that, that I have a reason. I, I'm, I have nothing to do right now. So, um, I originally wanted to watch War Horse because I always thought it'd be a good movie from the trailer when it was in theaters, you know. And it looked awesome, and I, I love horses, like, so much that I knew that I just need to watch this movie. Anything that deals with horses, I just love. And I sadly don't own a horse, though I should have learned to, to ride one once upon a time ago. Because um, my um, my godparents actually had two horses. But they got, they kind of scared me because I was when I was younger, that's when I was mostly around them. So I, but now I just like really love them. They're such beautiful creatures. And the, the, um, the horse, um, who was Joey was freaking gorgeous and I was like oh my gosh it's such a beautiful horse like it's like oh nothing bad happens to Joey because then I would be so upset I don't need anything bad to happen to Joey because I love that horse the horse is gorgeous and that's like in the beginning he was being um sold at an auction in the beginning which is kind of funny in a way ironic really because at the end he almost lost him um he almost lost him again because of an auction because they wouldn't let him have it because he was now a soldier and they said he can only be an officer's horse that were the ones that could stay the rest of them had to be bought at an auction and he had like all the soldiers they like fell in love with that that horse which i i was in love with that horse um and they didn't want anything and they didn't want him to be sold to like another buyer and they did but it was to a man who had actually interacted with Joey before because of his sick daughter. His sick daughter found Joey and gosh, I can't think of the other horse's name. It's a black horse that was that was actually in the um, was with Joey when he first was put into war, and it it was amazing. And uh, but it was sad because that was one of the saddest moments of this movie before the part where I thought Joey was going to be separated from, um, now I'm going to have to look up his name because I don't like to say, I just don't like saying that guy. It's going to bother me. And I should know his name, but like when they were saying it in the movie, it sounded like a different name than what I think it is. So I'm going to be sure and make sure I know this is his name. Okay, let me look it up. <sighs> um, War Horse. Yes. Mm-mm. Albert, yeah. But when they were saying it, it sounded weird. Like, um, but yeah, his name is Albert. And when um, I don't remember what I was saying. God damn it. Um, I think. Yeah, because Tom Hiddleston's character was a captain of the the army, the that army sector that came to Albert's town, and his dad actually ended up s was selling Joey to him basically. And Albert was going to lie in order to become a soldier so that he could be the one to take care of Joey and make sure he was fine. And Tommy Dawson's character, he was kind of one of my favorite parts of this movie because he was really actually a nice guy. But he ended up dying in, in the war and it, it made me sad. Because right before he died, there was this look in his eye. It's like he knew it was, ha it was about to happen. And he like he had like tears in his eyes, but he wasn't crying. He just you know how someone looks when they tear eyed. And I was like, oh, oh, Captain. Sad times. And then uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's character, who was I'm thinking he's he was over in the in the platoon. I think he was over Tom Middleton's character. I want to say he was a 
I'm not very sure about ranking wise. So he he's definitely over captain apparently. So he he didn't. Well, I'm not, we're not sure if he really died because he got captured by the by the um the other side. I I want to say it's German. German, I think. I want to say because they were fighting for the British army, as we all know. Um, so that was that was the thing, and then Joey ended up going. He found his way um, because of these two brothers. Um, he found his way to this the man house, the man I was just talking about, whose sick daughter had found them in their wind their windmill barn thing. The windmill, really, actually not windmill barn, but it's a windmill. You can go in there. So they were in there, and she started to take care of him. And um, so the man was like, "This is my last thing that my memory of my daughter." And I was like, "Yeah, but this is Joey. I mean, this is Albert's horse. You can't just take him away." And he was like really adamant about it. He was such an ass at first, and then there was proof. He like was, he could prove it. But before that, Joey almost died. But just, he got tangled up into all this barbed wire because he ended up being let free because this really nice guy who had been the one who had taken care of the horses in the um, the other side. I don't, I can't, I remember for sure which which army it is. Um, but he um, he was he was basically the enemy. But he loved. He thought he didn't want these horses being used in this way because they're being used to pull artillery, like the big cannons and stuff. And he he told him run run because the black horse who was Benedict Cumberbatch's horse um, in the movie um, he was he died and that was kind of his close friend that was Joey Joey's friend a uh, close friend and he he like he didn't want to leave his side because he was basically he couldn't go on anymore and he like just died really and it was so sad I was like oh Joey you need to run you need to run because there was this big tank coming after him and because he was trying to run away he f he got trapped in all this barbed wire stuff and one of the British soldiers and one of the I'm going to just say German just for the sake of it because I know I'm probably wrong I think I'm probably wrong um but they too it was kept this really surreal moment where um, when the two sides come together to get this horse out of all the barbed wire, and I'm scared Joe was gonna die. He didn't die. He almost died a second time because um, one of the officers on a on the British side, because Joey had all this like he was all cut up. He thought that his leg wasn't going to make it. He should just shoot him. It was a, a doctor who was taking care of patients, but there was no veterinarian available. And Joey was pretty much the last horse. And so they were calling him the miracle horse, which is interesting. Um, and so what happens is that Joey, he makes it because of Albert. Because Albert, he like, you know, that whistle uh, thing he does in the movie. Um... He does it, and everyone, and Joey would turn right when the guy was trying to shoot him. He would just keep turning, and, and then they let him through because there was, like, a whole bunch of the, the soldiers were right there, and they let him through. He had his eyes covered because there was a gas explosion, and a lot of the, the soldiers got the stuff in their eye. And so he couldn't see him, but he, he knew it was Joey. He knew it, and he was like, that's my horse and he told him like descriptive uh, it was like white he had, like I don't know how to explain it you have to really watch this movie to see this part I'm talking about it's really beautiful and I loved it and I don't want to spoil it anymore because it really was a beautiful movie and I expect nothing less from Steven Spielberg honestly it was beautiful it deserved all the nominations and awards it had gotten um I think it was in 2011, actually. So I finally watched it two years later. <laughs> um, so uh, that was... It, it really is a good movie. I'm probably going to end up getting it to have so I can watch it again. Because I watched it on the internet. So, yeah. There's that. And now I'm going to go do something. I don't know. I have a headache right now. I have work in the morning. So I might just...
read something. Continue reading this, which I'm almost done with. Yay! Finally almost done with it. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Because my head hurts too much right now. I'm kind of tired. But I have work in the morning. So, I will see you guys later, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.